and Professor Neil Event, Head of School, Biomedical and Healthcare Sciences. We are moving biomedical sciences into Plymouth University's Peninsula School of Medicine and Dentistry. So that gives our students excellent experiences of working alongside clinicians and development of their science-based subjects within the medical sciences. So our students get first-hand experience of what research is about with very competent academics. Healthcare Science is one of our new programmes. It's been specifically designed for students that want to go into clinical diagnostics within the NHS. There are two main pathways, life sciences, and then we have the physiological sciences, cardiac and respiratory physiology, where students will work in patient-facing clinics diagnosing cardiac and respiratory dysfunction. My name's Nick, and I am studying biomedical science in my third year at Plymouth University. The quality of teaching is just second to none and because all of the staff are experts in their fields you learn the latest information which means that you're constantly up to date and constantly aware of the latest developments in research, techniques and in knowledge. Most of our courses are accredited and we're in the process of getting accreditation for the rest that aren't. Nutrition, Exercise and Health is a degree programme for students that want to work in a career advising people on their lifestyle choices. Some of the academics within our department have links with some of the large pharmaceutical companies like GlaxoSmithKline and AstraZeneca. We have huge links with the NHS. We also have an electron microscopy facility here that actually does some of the NHS soft biopsy screening for Trilisk and Royal Devon and Exeter hospitals. The university has invested £3 million in the type of equipment that we're sat alongside, post-genomics equipment, so our students get experience of modern biology techniques, proteomics, next generation sequencing, and things that are going to make biology significantly different in the next 10 years. On top of this, there are multiple labs, multiple specialities that we have the choice of using. We try and encourage as many of our students as possible to take up a work placement at the end of their second year. We have a variety of different placement areas, some in academic institutions around the country, the Welsh Heart Institute, University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, the Abraham Institute in Cambridge, but there have been students that go on overseas placements, for example the University of Pittsburgh and to Moscow and we've had research students in Italy. You can spend a lot of time looking at a subject which you find interesting. So you just pick up so many things which can really help you not only in your third year, but in life post-graduation. All students within our school undertake a research project in their final year. This is a very important component of their final year work. All staff within the School are research active and so they supervise those final year projects. I believe our students will, will have a first-hand experience of research which will happen from day one. We will have research apprenticeship schemes which we're launching in 2014. Those that are elect to do that programme will have an absolutely fantastic experience. Our students go on to medical school, they go to dental school, they'll do higher degrees, either masters or PhDs. Some of them will go into industry and, and some of them go into management type job posts. So there's a whole variety of things that people can do in the biomedical sciences, so it's a passport to further things. Because our degrees are accredited and they get good quality degrees, they've had masses of experience working in the lab, some of them will have papers, they are up there with the best of the universities in the UK and their employability prospects.